Hey guys, I'm a fish guy here doing a video on the gold gourami. Now I'm going to be doing a separate video on how to breed these guys in the future once I get these guys to breed for me. That way I can show you a specific video on how they actually breed, but I will be going over some of the different, how to tell the different genders, the care, and the breeding and everything like that. So tank size 20 gallon, I have four of these guys in the 20 gallon for right now until I can get some pairs uh, to kind of go together and then I can separate them into a breeding tank of their own. Now these guys are pretty easy to care for, they're really not all that difficult. They pretty much eat anything and they have a wide tolerance when it comes to water temperature, pH, and water conditions in general. So 72 to 82 uh, is the ideal temperature on these guys. Anywhere from 6.0 to 8.2 on the pH. Mine are at 8.0 right now and my water temperature is about 76. Now these guys get about four to six inches. As you can see, some of the coloration on these guys is just beautiful. Uh, you really can't beat what they look like. Just the coloration, the flaring of the fins and everything, it's just real pretty. I uh, just got a couple boys in there apparently fighting. So like I said, these guys will be separated within the next day or two. I just gotta get Hopefully there's a female in there. But they can be semi-aggressive as you can see, especially if you have a couple males in there. That's why they will be separated into the bigger tank upstairs. Uh, that's just the pain in the butt with these guys. Fighting right there. Uh, so they will scuffle occasionally. For the most part, these guys get along really well. I usually don't have a huge problem with them. So when it comes to sexing these guys, it's all about the dorsal fin. If you look on the males, they'll be pointed, the females will be rounded. Uh, so right here I have a boy. Look at that top dorsal fin. He is definitely uh, a boy, just because it's real pointed. And I probably have three boys in there. Uh, I'm not sure, I might have one female in there. I'll have to take a closer look at everybody uh, as they mature a little bit more. That way I can make sure that they are uh, male and females in there. So with the breeding, take a styrofoam cup or any kind of floating plant, uh, put it on top and that way the male can build a bubble nest and that way he can pretty much, that's how they entice the females, the bigger the better. Uh, if the female is not happy with the bubble nest, they usually destroy it and the male starts all over again. So like I said, I'll be doing a more in-depth video on the breeding of these guys uh, when I get them actually in the app. So, I hope this helps you. If you have any gold garami questions, please post it down below in the comments. Check out my other videos. Like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any requests that you would like to see or videos on fish that you'd like to see, post that down there as well. And I will definitely try my hardest to get to these guys. But right now, like I said, these guys are eating frozen blood worms, brine shrimp, pretty much anything I throw in front of them, which is what I really like about them. They're really unique. But uh, I'll do a quick little thing of me feeding them, just so you can kind of see the appetites on these guys. So again, if you like gold garamis, give this video a like. I know everybody out there has unique fish out there, but I think gold garamis are one of the many that are just looked over. They're really not looked at. Just because some people think they're ugly, they are a weird shaped fish. But they are definitely unique because they... Just look at them, I mean, they're beautiful. Got one female in there. Let's see if I can get a zoom up of her. Yeah, right there's my female. There's another boy. But, um, uh, hope this video helps you. Check out my other ones. And, uh, thank you for watching.